beautiful souls. So, I'm coming to you today to talk about what is dry fasting and why do we dry fast and some of the potential dangers in it. So I've been past, uh, <laughs> excuse me, I'm a bit out of it as well <laughs> because actually I've been fasting for the past three days, water fasting, uh, doing this colon cleanse flush. So I was actually drinking uh, what could be mimicked as like having electrolytes, which is important when you're water fasting to have. So I've been drinking this water, lemon, uh, cayenne pepper drink, and uh, been salt flushing, two liters of warm salt water in the morning. And that was a bit intense just to clean out the colon, have clear water coming out. And so today is my fourth day of fasting and I'm starting it with a dry fast which will be for the next three days so pretty much in total I want to do a one week fast so I have some notes here I kind of studied <laughs> I I wasn't going to give a video send a video because I felt I would be too out of it but I'm kind of okay now you know laying down just being calm and yeah, excuse me if I'm a little bit few, but I'll try to give you the information that you come here for to see. So basically I have some information about what dry fasting does. Well first, actually dry fasting is just having no food or no water. Nothing in your mouth. And there can actually be soft dry fasting, which means that you still like brush your teeth and take a bath. And there's hard dry fasting, which is like no exposure to water at all. So I've done dry fasting before and I didn't realize there was a difference. So I've been doing soft dry fasting. So like brushing my teeth, still having a wash. And it's funny because the last time I did dry soft dry fasting, I, I didn't know about this, but I really felt like my pores were drinking the water. They were just like <laughs> trying to get every bit of water that is possible. And another funny thing is that um, it's like if you think of a lemon, if you really think about it, the shape of it, the color, how juicy it is when you cut into it. It's funny because the mouth actually starts to salivate. And this is one trick a brother told me, um, like when you feel thirsty. And actually the first time I heard about dry fasting was in a rainbow gathering. I met a brother, it was just in the teepee. It was a raw food healing rainbow and he just sat next to me and just told me this and then left. And he said about the third day feeling this drip, I feel it's like kind of a DMT release. So it's funny that information just came into my feed and I was at that time planning to fast but then I decided to do dry fasting because I'm so obsessed with water. Anyhow, well I share some things with you about what dry fasting does. So basically it speeds up skin repair and it slows down premature aging of skin and also it's helpful in repairing wounds. So pretty much everything in your body produces water <laughs> and needs water to stay alive. You, your parasites, fungi, viruses. So dry fast dries up the water supply from the invaders, the pathogens and parasites. So you get fresh water from your body, which is pure H2O, it's coming from the cells. And it's, it's really made inside of the cells, and so this flushes all the toxins out of your cells. It's quite incredible, this. So our DNA is super intelligent. We produce fats for when we need it as a source of energy, a source of water. And this is actually called the camel phenomenon. <laughs> so it's funny because the, the hump in the back of a camel 
actually has fat, not water. And fats are a great emergency fund, let's say, because it can be converted into hormones and vitamins, energy, and water. So dry fasting is dangerous if you have um, low fat storage and you shouldn't really attempt this if you have no experience with dry fasting. I mean, well, with fasting at all. <laughs> I mean, it's like you start little by little and yeah, remember to consult a physician if you are thinking of doing extended forms of fasting, detoxing, dieting. And also you shouldn't really um, exercise strenuously when you're dry fasting. You shouldn't really be sweating. Um, because then you can lose a lot of electrolytes. Which is quite funny because compared to water fasting, dry fasting you like hold your electrolytes. Whereas with water fasting you need to maintain them. So with dry fasting, yeah, you shouldn't be sweating so much or doing heavy activities. Just kind of do your normal daily routines and yeah, don't get dehydrated. <laughs> now I feel the sun a bit and it's nice. I'm actually, for the past four days, I've been feeling a bit cold, even with the sun shining. And yeah, I kind of am bundling up extra, but I do feel now it's like perfect temperature. So another thing with electrolytes, they stabilize during a dry fast. So sodium, potassium, chloride, um, they stay equal during a dry fast. So it's actually important that you shouldn't have electrolytes until two days after the fast. So another thing that dry fasting does, it increases vasopressin, and this shuttles the water in and around your body, as well as there's also an effect on the mind with vasopressin. It doesn't just help retain water. So there was a study done where, in which people were given vasopressin and it was said that they were actually take, taking more risk. And they also were able to have this facial recognition of emotion. So whether a person was sad or mad, like it was even more strong. So it said that vasopressin might also be an oxytocin, like this feel-good hormone. And when you have like groups that are kind of fasting, like religious groups, for example, Ramadan, uh, they're not eating from sunrise to sundown. And when a group of people are fasting together, like dry fasting, it's kind of this uh, community-like feeling, and the the vast repression could be triggering oxytocin, this feel-good effect. Some reasons why dry fasting is done. Um, dry fasting resets your immune system. It improves antioxidants. It improves blood flow. Immune, it's immune stimulating. And it helps inflammation by reducing it. So inflammation is reduced because the body converts how it gets water. And because the body is getting water through the skin, let's say like with soft dry fasting, um, it removes water from areas of inflammation. Also, there's improvement of brain clarity, <laughs> which I feel now a bit like. <laughs> and it's also like a fertilizer for the brain. And it helps uh, repair injured neurons. So this is amazing benefits that come with dry fasting and also you can burn more fat if it's done like in the way for Ramadan like it's pretty much they're doing this intermediate fasting so they're not eating from sunrise to sunset and with this being done over a period of 20 to 30 days uh, it was shown that they actually lost and burned more fat so may you have gotten the information that was quite helpful. I did some studying today and 
Ja, <laughs> uh, two more days of um, dry fasting. And I feel like I'll go for the softer dry fasting. And yeah, because like just washing my face, brushing my teeth, these are things that I enjoy doing <laughs> because I do love water. But I just won't drink water. And I'm really grateful for the benefits that will come out of this. So remember, consult your physician if you're interested in doing this and to start slow. So if you have never fasted before, try water fasting first and then you could think about dry fasting. And usually people do dry fasting for about 12 hours and then they'll continue about their day. Like one way is to drink, let's say if you're a coffee drinker, just have your drinks before sun comes up, let's say 5 a.m. And then not to eat or drink anything for 12 hours. So then after 12 hours of fasting, then you can have this keto brotic meal, which is like five grams of protein, five grams of natto carbs, 60% uh, of good fats, and then a cup of fermented food. And this is a light dry fasting, actually which I think in a lot of people's busy schedule they can fit this into their day. So thank you for watching and tuning in and I hope this video was helpful for you. And may you subscribe if you're not already, may you like this video and just have a glorious week. <laughs> I love us. Bye, 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 bye. Now